If anyone wants to hear me sing, I'm down. Heidi Klum has a new track with Snoop Dogg and talks about recording with the legend. Snoop has the biggest cloud around him. Getting in touch with Rod Stewart. I went even to the doctor, do you know Rod Stewart? And her iconic Instagram posts. I was in this room with my husband and we were eating pie and I didn't have underwear on it. It's time for Chai Tea with Heidi. Well, let's get into creating the song because I want to talk about obviously being in the studio with Snoop Dogg. How was it to work with him? I mean, he's amazing. So the time from when I called him and actually driving to Inglewood, I was not at home twiddling my thumbs. I was like, I'm not going to drive to Snoop Dogg and not have anything. Like, I'm going to at least work on something. So I worked with DJ Wedding Cake. I worked on, you know, getting this track together. And already, like, I was thinking, like, what can I sing over this? And, you know, I've always loved Rod. And I think, you know, his lyrics and melody, so beautiful. But let's make this now. And then I was like, how, you know, so that's how it all came about that I'm singing Baby Jane over it. And um, so then when I went to Snoop's and I played this to him, he was immediately like, he's like, oh, dance. Okay. He's like, you guys love that dance track in Germany. And I was like, no, they love everywhere. They love <laughs> everywhere. And then he literally went into the vocal booth right there and he started rapping over it. It was like, it was, I'm like, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me. They had Snoop Dogg. He like loves, you know, what I sang on there and he loves the song and he is, you know, rapping over and he's like, let me work on this a little bit more today and I'm going to send you something tomorrow. And then we just worked on it and worked on it. And literally three days later, it was done. It was the craziest thing. Like I can't that's still incredible. believe it happened. <laughs> no, that's incredible. And I mean, I have to ask because I'm painting the scene right now and you're like, I'm cruising to Inglewood to go to the studio with Snoop yes. Dogg. Did yes. you get to smoke with Snoop? Well, I mean, let's just put it this way. Snoop has the biggest cloud around him. I kind of want to say like the cloud probably has its own zip code. And it, thinking back onto the day, I can't remember much, but I remember that I was really uh, having the munchies for uh, Cheetos that day. So that's <laughs> the Cheeto munchies will come, I have to admit. And the song samples Rod Stewart's Baby Jane. My highlights done and I'm sitting in the chair and she's doing my hair and I'm like I know this is a weird question but do you know Rod Stewart and she's like no but I know Kimberly his daughter and I'm like oh my god please give me the number I email Kimberly and she's like sure I give you my dad's email and so I emailed him sent him the song and we're already so far into the game I already done this with Snoop we already did a music video it's and already I already done have his yay okay so then I send it to him and then for four or five weeks, I hear nothing. And I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. I cooked this whole thing up and now Rod Stewart is going to say no and then it's never going to happen. So four or five weeks, I hear, I don't hear back from him until someone was like, well, have you checked your spam? And I'm like, no, Stop. no, he was in the spam mail, <laughs> in the spam mail and he actually emailed me back immediately so it wasn't even like he was like right there and then even with a follow-up email hello hello i haven't heard back from you he loved the song he's like yes you have my okay this is so cool you and snoop together so i was like hallelujah it all fell into place and and here it is and from music to her loved barely there insta where does she get her inspo I mean, I take a lot of photos and, you know, when you post one, there's probably 200 that were taken before that one that you see. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of them that never see the light of day. I know the other day, I don't know. I was in this room with my husband and we were eating pie and I didn't have underwear on. And I had this pie sitting right here. And, you know, I mean, there's a lot of photos where there's no plate with a pie. You know, my husband always takes photos of me and sometimes there's one. I'm like, oh, what the heck? I'm just going to put it into the world, why not? Well, the track is out on January 14th. Is there anything else you'd like to tell people out there? Just have fun, have more fun, laugh more, kiss more, canoodle in bed with the person that you wanna be with, tell them that you love them and just have, you know, put a smile on people's face, including yourself. And well, dance thank you. with Heidi with Heidi a lot. Yes. Well, thank you so much. I don't, you have so much positivity with inside you. I've been smiling this whole interview. So thank you, Heidi.
Thank you. Mwah.